Okay, let's try to see how we can find the derivative using its limited definition. And many of us found this function over here quite difficult, so let's try that. Now, um, we are going to first write down the definition of derivative. We have the following thing. We have f of a derivative at point a, according to our definition, that's going to be the limit when x is approaching a. This um, difference quotient, that's f of x minus f of a and over x minus a. So now let's plug in the function. We have a complex fraction or compound fraction, so we need to be careful how we're going to have this. So it's going to be x squared minus 1 and 2x minus 3 minus, now it's f of a, so it's going to be a squared minus 1. And here we have 2a minus 3 and x minus a. Okay, so now we are going to find common factors for these two fractions in the numerator. And we can see that the common denominator is simply the product of the denominators. So we're going to write, we write in this way. We know divided by x minus a is the same as multiplied by 1 over x minus a. So we have the following. Let's add them up. Now this is 2x minus 3 and 2a minus 3 and 1 over x minus a and here we have x squared minus 1 and we have 2a minus 3 and subtract over here we have 2x minus 3 and a squared minus 1. So that's what we have. Now remember what we are trying to do. We are trying to factor out x minus a from the numerator. So we don't need to do anything about the denominator. Don't multiply these things out. So now let's look at, we use FOIL. So we have, in the denominator now we have 2x minus 3 and 2a minus 3 and x minus a. We have eight terms in the numerator after we multiply them out. So we have x squared times 2a and plus 3 and minus 2a and we have minus 3x squared. And then for the second part, remember we put a pair of parentheses around and then we have 2x squared and minus 3a squared and plus 3 and minus 2x. That's it. But now we are going to simplify the numerator. When we do that, we have the following thing. We have limit x is approaching a. Now, let's cancel some common terms. We have 3 over here, positive, and then minus 3 over here. So these two threes are cancelled, and then we have the following. Let's just copy this one more time. x squared 2a over here, and then minus 2a, and minus 3x squared, and minus 2xa squared, and plus 3a squared, and um, this is positive again, plus 2x. So this is what we have. And we copy the denominator, which is 2x minus 3 multiplied by 2a uh, minus 3 and x minus a. Remember, we want to find the factor x minus a over here in the numerator. So we are going to look for this factor. And obviously, we need to match terms over here. So if we look at it, this term will be matched this with this one, okay? And then this term over here will be matched this one. So we regroup them, and this one over here will be grouped with this one. So now we have the following. It's going to be limit, x is approaching a, and this is what we're going to have. 
um, x minus a over here, 2x minus 3. Of course, the order doesn't matter. Okay. And here we can see we pull out 2xa, and then we're going to have x minus a over here, right? So that's from these term, two terms with the circles underneath them. And then we also have minus 2 and a minus x over here, of course. Um, that's for the terms with these um, deltas behind them. And then we have minus 3 and x squared minus a squared. So now we clearly see what kind of factors we have over there. So we can try to factor x minus a out and then cancel. And this is going to be the following. Um, so we factor x minus a out, and inside we have 2xa, and then here we have plus 2, and here we have, just try to remember, x squared minus a squared is, this one is over here, is x minus a times x plus a, right? And so we have over here minus 3x plus a after we pull that out. And then we divide the whole thing by x minus a, 2x minus 3, and 2a minus 3. Now we can cancel these two terms. Um, after we canceled these two terms, we can now simply plug in the limit, plug in a for x. So we let me just rewrite this one, one more time. So we have 2xa over here plus 2 and minus 3x plus a over here. And then we have in the denominator 2x minus 3 and 2a minus 3. So when we plug it in, then this is going to be over here is 2a minus 3 squared. And in the, new, in the numerator, we have 2a squared and minus 6 a and plus 2. I hope that's going to be the right answer.